you said Prime Minister Modi is the least understood Prime Minister because in some ways he's part of an India that's changing. Has, has he steered that change or is he emblematic of that change? I think both ways. It is, you know, it's not one or the other. And, um, and now as he views a third term, uh, he's at a cusp uh, and some people th say that th that in his third term he could become more inclusive hmm. and to rule a country and he's one who would like to leave a legacy yeah he's one who likes to do things bhavya grand everything on a big scale also, Sometimes it doesn't me, work. also I think he enjoys I have no basis to say this except observation he enjoys being unpredictable. That, of course, to catch you and me and people like us <laughs> completely, you know, that we've now stopped predicting. But you know, it's also do. true that the media, have, even those considered close to the government, have never known as little about what happens as, right. as the media does today. See, media, as far as me, we are concerned, we have less access. Yeah. Media is under pressure. There's no doubt about that. Uh, to information. Governments always, all governments, all prime, no prime minister likes criticism. All governments want the media to do PR for them. Mm -hmm. So also this government, that, that they feel is their role. But the point I was making is that will Narendra Modi as part of that legacy reach out to the minorities in a new way to make them feel secure and that they are first class citizens and not beleaguered uh, can you know as Hindu Ride Samrat he can reach out in his third term to that kind of a What did you make legacy. of his Christian outreach for instance? It, it happened again without notice it just happened you know and, and there's a very um, interesting political outreach with Paswanda Muslims so what's your own sense? Is Modi going to be a different Modi in his third term or is he going to be the Modi we have known or not fully known? As I as am an incorrigible optimist and I, I feel, you know, there's no country as diverse as India. Yeah. I mean, it is, you travel and you know this, I know this. I find it the most exciting thing, you know, to be traveling. Every 20 kilometers, it's a different India. Language, food habits. The best country to be a journalist in because there's always <laughs> yes. something, there's always a story at every look at. And you know, Barkha, we are, for all its fault lines, we are proud of our democracy, that we've lasted as a democracy. So I hope very much that Narendra Modi in the coming years, if he comes to power, will make every last Indian feel secure and want it. Hmm.